Hello and welcome to another episode of For Your Eyes Only, the only place where you can learn a little bit about your eyes and have fun at the same time. We're coming to you from High Street Eye Care in beautiful Abbotsford, British Columbia. My name is Harbeer and of course, you know my colleague Dr. Einstein. We've been away for a little while thanks to an extended vacation by Dr. E. Uh, actually, Dr. E, were you on vacation or were you stranded on a deserted island? Because that is one heck of a beard, I have to say. That's, that's impressive. Alright, so in today's episode we're going to finish our discussion on floaters. As we've talked about before, floaters can happen for different reasons and they can be the result of one of the most serious eye conditions, retinal detachments, and that's the part we're going to discuss today. As you may remember, we talked a little bit about the vitreous, which is this gel substance in the middle of the eye, as Dr. E is showing you here, and the retina is the very back surface of the eyeball, this little orange layer that's shown in the model here. Today we're going to show you a little example or a little model of our own. So here we have Dr. E standing in front of this bright green wall. Now if we imagine that the room that we're in here is an eyeball and this green wall that you're seeing is the back surface of the eyeball, the retina. Alright, so the retina is actually a very thin and fragile layer in the back of the eye and it can be disrupted for a variety of reasons. For one is injury. In such a case, the retina could potentially detach from a peripheral portion of the eye. A second thing which we've actually already talked about is a posterior vitreous detachment could also pull away a certain portion of the retina as the vitreous pulls off the back of the eye and Dr. E is showing this little flap that potentially could be created in that instance. Another reason which we've actually mentioned in the past as well is when you have a high amount of nearsightedness. If you have a lot of myopia, as we talked about, the eyeball is longer and again that causes the retina to stretch and potentially detach in the peripheral portions as Dr. Einstein is showing us here. Now as you can imagine, these types of changes in the retina can cause disruptions in your vision. And what patients sometimes will notice if they've had a retinal detachment is a veil or a curtain type of floater. Sometimes they'll notice a little spot in the middle. Other times even a whole bunch of little dots in their vision due to the cells that are released from the retina when there's a break. So as we've mentioned before, if you notice any new types of floaters, something different in your vision, it's very important to go on in and get your eyes examined right away to make sure that it's not anything serious such as a retinal detachment or any other condition. So that'll do it for our discussion on floaters. We will have more information on retinal detachments in a future episode. If you have any questions on this topic or any other topic, feel free to get in touch with us. Don't forget to subscribe and look out for new episodes coming to you soon. We'll see you next time. Dr. E, were you were you on vacation or were you stranded on a deserted island? You look like that evil wizard Saruman from Lord of the Rings. You remind me of Robin Williams from Jumanji. The, you know, Tom Hanks from Castaway, the movie Castaway, when he's stranded on the island. Are you sure you weren't stranded on a, a lost island? A lost island? You didn't happen to run into a guy named Jack or a girl named Kate? A guy named John Locke by any chance? Or a Scottish, weird Scottish guy named Desmond? No? I'll see you in another life, brother. No?